flip the switch on the bottom left on the cart to warm it up. It takes about 30 minutes. Once the light turns green, open the tanks on the side of the cart using the black plastic tool. Turn the silver knobs enough so that the dials in the gauge spike. Next, insert the umbilicus into the cart, making sure the ridge is facing left. Now you can open the Breeze application on the desktop, hit OK, and hit back on top, and now you have to wait two more minutes. Once the vac is complete, unplug the umbilicus from the cart and plug it into the end of the syringe with the ridge facing outwards. Click Calibrate, and then click Zero Flow on the top right. After the cart zero flows, you're ready to start calibrating. Now you're going to withdraw and inject air at different speeds with the syringe. The dotted lines serve as the guideline for different withdrawal and injection speeds. It's not as important to follow the dotted lines as to just reach the top and bottom lines respectively. It's important that you don't overshoot or undershoot each line. If you fail, here are a few ways to try calibrating. If you have three or more failed calibrations, try to reset the calibration factors by just doing the first withdrawal and first insertion. If that doesn't work, simply close out the Breeze program and reboot it. After you have a successful calibration, select the O2 and CO2 analyzer tab and hit Calibrate. The calibration may fail the first one or two times. If it fails more than three times, make sure the umbilicus is plugged into the cart. Also, recheck the gauges on the gas tanks to make sure they are open. If it keeps failing, you may have to recalibrate. Now one person can start entering our patient information into the computer. Click File, New, Patient, and fill in the highlighted boxes. and click Add Visit. Fill in the remaining highlighted boxes. Then click Graded Exercise Test, abbreviated GXT, in the bottom tabs. Select the appropriate protocol. Congrats, you are now ready to run a VO2 max test.